hey y'all I got this old frame I'll try to take this wire off at um, Goodwill the other day for a dollar ninety nine and I got this huge vase right here for two ninety nine this is a really old thick nice frame and we're just gonna make it new again this is the paint pixie number eight because that'll be a good size to use for this that's a good natural bristle brush and I think the first thing I'm going to do is just slap on a coat of the antebellum blue all over the whole thing and then we can decide how to how to proceed from there let's get the outside first I'm not doing anything to prep this or anything like that it's going to be kind of old and distressed because it is a, a really old frame may as well just love what's going on with it Part of this is, it's like it's maybe three different kinds of wood in there, but I'm just going for the same color on all of it right now. I did get out an artist brush and I may come back in here in some of the groups with some coordinating colors or something like that, but at this very moment I'm just wanting a coat on here of everything in the antebellum blue. And we may or may not add more to it because sometimes whenever you're making something look kind of distressed and older piece sometimes less is more and you don't have to do quite so much to the old pieces but i am trying to make sure that i get in all the recesses here Probably was five minutes, something like that. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then decide what to do next on that. And let's go ahead and put a coat on this. I think what I'm gonna do on this is go with a coat of caviar, like the black underneath to give us the base coat. And then I'll come back over it with some of the antebellum blue to where we can sand down a little bit. This is some type of ceramic, but I dropped the dang thing on the floor a while ago whenever I was picking it up and it didn't crack, so, and it's, it's pretty heavy. I'm just gonna grab a chip brush for this because this is just an undercoat. And I'm gonna want, you know, to put either some black wax or use some more of this caviar or something like that around whatever mold that we make. Definitely gonna try. Whenever I saw this, the kind of made me feel good. The lady at Goodwill said, "You can have, you have good taste. I can tell." I'm like, "Oh yeah, I'm fixing to paint this stuff. <laughs> I am looking for stuff I can paint." This vision that I saw is getting closer every dawn. better and brand new already just being caviar. It could stay black and look good. So now it's black. And that the chalky style paints like Dixie Belly is uh, really give a little bit of grip for whatever colors I'm, and things I'm going to put over it too. So I'm really glad about that being ready. Really needs to be dried a little bit. I can smell the shore, it's right in front of us if we just hold on tight. I'm not going to dry it all the way. I'm just going to use my one of the artist brushes and go with the stormy seas in this deepest uh, recess here. Just 
I still want you to be able to see some of the blue in some of these areas here too. Not want it to be too prim and proper looking. If you wanted, you could always paint some type of design in here like it had a design before you could put some flowers or some kind of twirly gigs or something like that in here to still give it a little bit of figure in those areas I think I'm gonna go ahead and do and that's too wide I'm gonna go ahead and use the smaller brush and do another line in here in the gray as well I'm going to go with one of these small chip brushes and hope that I don't regret this part, but it's just paint, and if we do regret it, we paint back over it later, right? Just going to roughly hit these edges. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting always I've got it on not on the whole brush just on one side crashing down but we get up and start from the ground And I I really wanna know I really wanna know If I now I'm gonna put it all over but I'm gonna take some off like an am dry brushing and I'm just going to get one of the areas that's sort of between the stormy seas and the antebellum blue. You can say I lost my mind. I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling. I think we're at a point where we just need to leave it alone. It looks messy, yet blue, yet wore out a little bit. I thought I brought a piece of sandpaper in here. There is one. We can sand it a little bit if we want to here and there for a little more distressing. Even if the sky is falling down. Even if the sky is falling down. Yeah. I like it. It's done. And this thing's nearly dry already too. I could come back over this with some black wax to get a little better dark in the corners once it's dry. You could come over it with a gray wax to lighten it up, a white wax to lighten it a whole lot. You could just put, you know, either a matte, a satin, or a glossy, depending on what you like. I like matte top coat over it just to give it another finish. But with the Dixie Belle, it does have a it doesn't require a top coat, so you don't have to do anything. It can be done, and I'm, I'm a little lazy like that sometimes. This is probably done, but um, if not, I'll let you know what I do. Uh, and I will share my Dixie Bell link in the comments if you are interested in that. It helps me out a little if you look at it through my link. Thanks, y'all. Bye.